Alright team, welcome back to another video. This is the in my what's in my truck video. Uh, obviously we're still in lockdown, we've got another so this is Easter weekend. It's a long weekend, four day weekend. Normally I'm way off in the back country this time of year. Uh, maybe I'll link a video in the description of what I was doing this time last year. So not next weekend, but the weekend after. Hopefully we can get out fishing in some format. And um, yeah, I can't wait to do it. And oh, probably gonna fish for like a week solid once I'm allowed back out there. So this video isn't gonna be like a, a really in depth it's not going to be like the layout of my truck or anything it's kind of just going to be what's in my truck uh it's pretty it's clean it's because i've had so much time in my hands i've sorted it all out and all sorts of stuff so it's not a true representation of how my truck normally is when i'm fishing in the middle of fishing it's way more chaotic than it is right now uh, but i'm just going to show you it's pretty much a gear video but it happens to be in my truck so i am going to start with Uh, the waste pack I wear, which is, this is a Sims one, I think it's called a Dry Creek or Z Creek or something like that. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool. does the trick. It's kind of new to me. I've only run it a few times. I used to have a Patagonia one that lasted me absolutely years. But I finally retired it because uh, it's zip bust. But this one's fully waterproof. It's got uh, this big crazy zip. Uh, this The only downside on this particular waste pack is this pocket here. They could have made this zip a waterproof zip uh, because it kind of makes this pocket useless. There's nothing I can put in it anyway that it just kind of, yeah. But uh, other, I'm not going to go into details what's in there. The main thing is a fly box, some tippet, some split shot, some muesli bar wrappers. That's about it. It's got, I have my four steps on there and then there's a little magnet here which uh, I clip to my walking stick. It's the the waste pack I run. I run a waste pack because I can't use a, a lanyard or a vest because I'm always got that GoPro on and I want as little sound interference as I can with like in them pockets or things rattling. And I, I just I prefer the waste pack anyway. It's just I find it a whole lot better. I have my backpack, which is another Sims product. Uh, I forget what this one's called. If anybody knows what this one's called, uh, comment the name below. I could look on Google, I suppose. Uh, doesn't look like they make it anymore so I don't know what it's called if you know what it's called it's pretty good I do like the layout of it and everything I have sent it away for repair once because this all this where you roll it uh, that all the stitching came away on the ends um, but otherwise it's a it's a good bag it's really big which is good because I have all my fishing gear plus all my camera gear uh, you could probably almost overnight out of it if you really had to but I probably wouldn't recommend it I won't go into what's in the bag because What's normally in there isn't in there. Everything's out. I've cleaned everything out. I should have filmed this then. Yeah, the only thing in here is a muesli bar. We'll go through how I run this. The straps. That's a, a is it peak? I think it's called peak, maybe. This holds this camera here. So the, the it slots into here and I can actually have this camera sitting here so I can use it easily. Uh, this other strap has the rod holder and then actually we're sitting on there on this strap I have if I can get that on there I have tippet floatant hanging on the shoulder straps so I can like tip it up floatant all that good stuff so these are the boots I wear I normally try like I don't try to force things down your throat but I cannot stress how good these boots are. This is about the second pair I've had, and I, th I think this is the third season. So normally I'll do through, go through at least a pair a season. I'm pretty rough on gear. I know a lot of people get a lot longer out of uh, stuff, but I go through equipment really fast. I'm quite hard on it. I will walk the soles off them pretty quickly, or they just fall apart on me. Uh, but this is the first boot I've had that hasn't fallen apart. So this is the old boot. This has been retired. Um, but it's still strong. The laces gave way, but the sole, everything is intact. I wore it pretty much flat here. Um, they just got a bit slippy. And they, they, there's little bits coming apart, but I just felt like it was time for a new one. Um, so this is the new one. But these lasted me so long. So impressed by these boots. I've never been more impressed by a pair of boots in my life. So they're the Orvis Pros. I'll leave a link to them in the description if you want to check them out. But these things, uh, for me anyway, these things have been absolutely bulletproof. Love them. In fact, if they announce that they're going to stop selling these, I'm probably going to stockpile three or four pair because they are, they are just so good. And they're pretty grippy for not having any studs or anything like that. They're made in conjunction with uh, Michelin. 
uh, they make tyres. I don't know if that means anything or helps anything, but they they certainly are out of the box, studless, pretty grippy shoes. The waders, the waders are where you guys, like the last 20 videos you guys have seen, I've been wet wading, but the last two or three times I've been fishing, I was wearing waders, starting to cool down, and definitely when, I, when we get back fishing in like two weeks, hopefully, uh, I will definitely be in waders. So I'm, these are the cheapest Sims waders. I think they're just called Freestone or something like that. Um, but I go with these. I've tried all sorts of different waders. Uh, the main reason I go with these is I really like the sock. This fits me really, really well, better than all the other brands I've tried. Um, so they're really comfy in my boot. They're a comfy waiter to wear. Um, and they last me slightly longer than all the other ones I've tried. So generally, if I'm still drying these in three months, I'll be, I'm getting a good run out of them. Um, I'll definitely do, I normally do two pairs per season, so winter season. So but I like I trash them. I like if there's some blackberry there and I need to get through it, I'll just walk through it. So it's my own fault they break so quickly. But um, yeah, these are they these tend to last me slightly longer and they're more comfortable, so that's why I wear them. So probably the most interesting thing in the truck is the way I store my rods, which is actually kind of new. Uh, I used to just poke them in there and they would kind of just sit and they'd flop around and bounce around, but it was okay. Uh, but Alex actually brought the system off. It's a it's Smith Creek. I'll try and remember to leave a link in the description below. But uh, so I don't know if you can see here. There's a strap that goes. This is a seven seat vehicle, so there's a hand holds if you flip these seats up. Uh, so it's strung between there, and I'll show you a close up. But I think it's made for like big American vehicles. So you got one set of straps at the front, one set of straps at the back. Uh, that doesn't really work in these smaller vehicles. Uh, so Alex gave the other set to me. So we've both got the same setup. At the moment so I'll show you exactly how this works so yeah pretty easy there's a lanyard thing up there that I hope you can see it's going through I probably can't do this one-handed but I'll try but you just hook this band around there which is really really difficult poke it up through this hole and then just cinch it across like that and it holds your rods up there nicely it actually works really really well super happy with it can't believe i didn't get it years and years ago um so it's a smith creek product i'll leave it linked in the description the other things i have in so i have a net generally i, I really enjoy running that Mac, mclean's weigh net that um telescopes and you can weigh your fish uh it's a great net i have had some issues with them falling apart but the one i've got I modified on the river by squashing some tube and it's lasted me a long time but the net bag is finally given out so I'm back on this net which is a, it's a, I think it's a Chinese brand I don't know where it comes from actually next hand I think this is actually a New Zealand company but I wouldn't be surprised if the net comes from China um, but I've had this thing for years and every time I need every time the McLean's net break I go back to this one this one's bulletproof I've had it for a long time the elastic's just about to fall off it and um, yeah it's just good it's been bent a few times bent it back into shape uh, but otherwise pretty bloody pretty bulletproof got that red bin there that normally i just put all the wet gear in normally actually i just when i'm finished fishing the backpack goes in there the bum bag goes in there everything wet goes in there and uh, i sort just out that bin out when i get back two rod tubes down here that i that are just there as spare rods a lot of a lot of the time this rod tube with a spare rod and it comes in that backpack it's got a nice little system for holding a rod um, so depending on the water that I'm fishing I always like to carry a spare rod where appropriate uh, nothing worse than getting halfway through the day being miles away from your truck and breaking your rod or something silly like that so depending on the water I'll always carry a spare rod There's another six weight in there so I got a five and a six weight up there I got a five and a six weight here uh, I got a few other rods I'll probably do I got another I'll probably do some more in-depth videos on like the bomb bag and the backpack and maybe run through the rods that I use and the rigs uh, but at the moment this is kind of what's in the truck uh, this box here I brought at the Seeker show because I thought it looked cool and I didn't really know what I was going to use it for but it turns out that it just sits in the back of my truck and it is full of junk but it's all potentially useful junk so there's about a gazillion waiting belts because I don't know how many times I've turned up or put clients and waiters and then can't find the waiting belt so i've got a huge spare pile of waiting belts uh leaders tippet here's a 
a cover for going over your pack to keep it dry, or the client's pack to keep it dry. Uh, buffs, more liters, floatant. <laughs> Some 130 pound liter, don't know why that's in there. A uh, bit of rope. You name it, there's kind of all sorts of crap in here. It's just kind of like a big pile of junk. There's a spare reel in there. Just some more split shot, weight over here stuff. For some reason I have a popper in here. Some deodorant, more weight to repair, waiting belt, tube flies. Big box of potentially useful stuff. Pretty much the contents of the vehicle at the moment there's there's probably some stuff missing i should really redo this when i'm like smack in the middle of busy 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 fishing it's so chaotic you guys will laugh uh what else have we got in there mm. it's quite often a chili bin in there ice packs uh lunch water Stuff like that. That's normally stuff. Like that. That's pretty much it. Oh man, this seems boring to me. I hope you guys are liking this. All right, we'll have a little look in the front of the vehicle. That's pretty boring as well. So this is the lanyard thing I was talking about at the front that holds the uh, rod tips. Does a pretty good job of that. Uh, well, yeah, no, there's definitely, there's definitely, there's definitely nothing up there. I'm going to try something new in these videos, which is get you guys to ask me a question. It can be a technical question, it can kind of be anything, and I'll pick one. I will pin that comment to the top of the comment section and I will order it and I will answer it in the next video. That could be fun. Get you guys more engaged, get me more engaged with you guys. I've been a bit slack on the comments recently, but there's been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds that gets kind of hard to keep on top of. But I do appreciate those comments. I definitely read every single one. Um, and I will try harder to respond to all of them. Is that your Easter egg? Your whole chocolate Easter egg? Nala, come here. I'll go in the door. Whew. Dog just ate an Easter egg. That was hard work chasing her down. She had the tin foil and everything. Whew. All right, so that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see. Ask me a question, I'll pin it to the top and I will answer it in the next video. Uh, I'm about to film a top 10 flies video for you right now. Whew. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.